I'm in Santiago, Chile's capital, and Misha is a food and travel journalist, and she's showing me all her favourite spots. This is a um, history centre from the 19th century, is that right? The toilet is, a quiet is not working. Of cobblestone streets and European architecture. And it's here you'll find Anita's favorite dessert. What flavor would you like? Uh, like fruity, chocolate? Well, you've done, it, you've done it well so far, so surprising. <laughs> this city just has so many strange sides to it. It's almost like it has a split personality, but maybe it makes sense when you consider it was under a military dictatorship until 1990. So since then, the city's found its freedom. And with that freedom, it almost feels like it's discovering its own it's true self in a variety of fairly unique ways. Okay, so this is um, happy custard apple. It's all because it's mixed with orange. Happy custard apple. Yes. What makes it happy? The orange juice. Yeah, I guess so. It is really good. It's like typical dessert. That's right. Mmm. Want to say kuwa? Yeah. This is downtown here. This is downtown Santiago. Yeah, a very good place actually to see the contrast uh, that we've been saying of the modern and the old buildings, for example. Since the city's founding in 1521, the Plaza de Armas has been its symbolic heart and is a stark contrast to the modern buildings which surround it. Wow! Every city has street performers, and this is the Chichen Itza. I love that. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. The toilet is officially broken. The toilet is officially gone. I have no rhythm at all. But it looks like you're banging hard and you're spinning around a little bit. It looks, it looks like I can do it. Come here, why are you hiding? I can't believe it. Really? Right? Apparently the locals, like my guide Anita, don't like them as much as the tourists do. I can't see the problem. Me cono. Gostoso. Hum. Mm.